weekend, there are several big events happening around Central Florida, and we want to help you get results and plan ahead. We sent News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos out live to pinpoint city by city. She starts off our coverage in Lake County ahead of Mount Doors Art Festival. And Candace, you're at one of my favorite events. Looks fabulous out there. Well, Julie, this is the first time I actually came out here, and it is just the cutest little town ever. So I can imagine once all the booths come up and everyone really, really starts filling up the streets, how great this event is going to be. But yes, we spoke to a lot of folks out here preparing for the big weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. This festival runs. There was going to be plenty of entertainment, food, and of course the arts. But we spoke to one artist who comes down from Michigan every year because he says this is his favorite art show for more reasons than one. So last year we tried it for the first time and I'm back this year So because it's just a cute little town and the people really were responsive and everybody seemed to like the art so it was great. So I'm back again. And the weather's perfect. And the weather's perfect. <laughs> And I hope the weather is perfect like we spoke about, but models are now starting to change as Tom's been talking about. He used the word a few minutes ago, a hodgepodge, and that's exactly what it is. For Saturday, a bit, a bit more in the way of cloud covers, temperatures will be in the mid-60s, but then on Sunday, temperatures will drop back down, only topping off in the mid-50s here in Mount Zora, uh, at least for Sunday, with plenty of sunshine looking mostly dry. So again, it looks like Sunday might be the best of the two days. We are going to get back on the road and take our pinpoint weather team out to now Winter Park, coming up at 5.30 for folks who want to get a jump start on Valentine's Day this weekend. I'll see you then. All right, Candace, thanks so much. Have fun. We'll see you in Winter Park.